We have word that sometime today a deal may be reached between Hollywood actors and producers. After months of bargaining, picketing and threats of a strike, looks like a tentative two-year agreement is on the horizon. But as NBC4's Ted Chen, Ted Chen shows us, not everyone is pleased with what was left out of the new deal. The deal between actors and producers may be on the fast track to approval, but one group remains firmly against it. The so-called hardliners who picketed the Screen Actors Guild headquarters as board members voted on the tentative agreement. We're trying to protect the members from the loss of residuals, which is more than half of our income and more than half of our pension and health contributions. It's what makes acting a profession, if it's possible at all. Otherwise, it becomes a hobby. SAG's power shift, though, put in the minority the hardliners who had insisted on residual payments for actors for shows on new media like the Internet. Those residuals are not part of the deal, and without it, these actors believe their money will evaporate. All we have to sell as actors in this industry is our image and likeness. And the move over to the new media, they're going to be getting that for free, basically. Everybody wants to rush out to work again. Realize this, when you go to work again, there's not going to be work. But others say SAG lost millions holding out for something producers never would have agreed to and in the process slowed film production to a crawl and did lasting damage to the industry. They've lost tens of millions of dollars uh, over the last 10 months working under lower minimums, uh, losing work in feature film production, uh, going forward having lower minimums than after. This has been a very expensive misadventure uh, brought to the union by the hardliners, unfortunately. A majority of SAG's 120,000 members are expected to approve the proposed contract. These actors, though, believe they can still convince them to change their minds. Ted Chen, Channel 4 News, Miracle Mile. And even if a deal is reached, the Screen Actors Guild still needs to get the deal ratified by its 120,000 members. It's expected the deal will be approved by a majority of SAG voters, but not without a fight. Overtime.